What's the word, y'all? One of the league's most dangerous players might be even more dangerous going into the 2021-22 season. And that's scary. <laughs> it's scary because, you know, I'm just in the same division on a team that's trying to be competitive. And this dude has already won two MVPs. He's won a finals MVP. And he will not stop getting better. And the preseason, Giannis has been um, doing things a little bit out of character. One of the things people have said about Giannis for an entire of his, entirety of his career is that he's got no bag. Or if he does have a bag, it's this be He ain't got no Duffy. He ain't Kyrie Irving. But people always talk about his bag being non-existent or very small. And in the preseason, for a lot of NBA players, it's a place for them to t try new things and do things they normally don't. And... Well, let, let's just let's just react. Let, let me just show you what the heck is going on. I talked about this in yesterday's video. When I wake up, I go on to Reddit, see what's going on in the world. It's a terrible place, but a great place at the same time because I haven't been watching many preseason games. We talked about the fact that the Charlotte Hornets lost by 50 the other night. So, yes, I ain't been tuned in. But I probably should have been tuned into this one because Giannis is looking a little bit different. This is a time to try new things. And if this is a Giannis we're getting this season, um, we might want to get his man his third MVP award. Uh, Royce O'Neal on him. Pull up. Jump shot. Cool. Now, I'm not going to be one to overreact from the fact that he shot five for eight from the field on jump shots, but it's stuff within this that's interesting. This move right here, if we're going to say every NBA player has a signature move, this is what I'm saying Giannis' signature move is. It is the turnaround midway jump shot. He's done it for a couple seasons, and this might be the year's pose to really, really break out as his move. A little steal from Drew Holiday. What we got? Eric Pascal. Shout out to my homie, man. He looked good in that New Jersey. Um, he got a good closeout, but Giannis is built differently. It, this is, I, I, don't, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. This might be scary for the league, man. This might be scary for the league. This is, I'm pretty sure, a miss, but he found the open spot, a mid-range jump shot, and he took it with confidence. Let's see what you got, Eric. Little, little pick from Chris. Size up, size up, mid-range jump shot, cash. Listen, man, Giannis might be poised for another MVP. He sees the open look in the corner, takes it, and his bottoms. Um, are we ready for this? Now, again, we're not overreacting from the fact that he shot well in the preseason game. It's preseason. But what I'm looking at when I'm watching that is the fact that he was taking shots in rhythm, and it was significantly faster than the jump shots he had been taking over the course of the first couple years of his career. And if that is the case, if he's getting it off faster and he's shooting it better, gee, geez. Hand this man another MVP award. Now, it's not just from the field. This is the same game versus Utah Jazz. And you're going to notice something significantly different. Um, you will not be hearing crowds crowd, uh, count to 10 on Giannis because he has improved the speed of his jump shot. It is a spin. It is a dribble. It is an exhale. And it is a release. Now, Giannis has said in the past that um, part of the reason why he doesn't shoot the free throw well is like cognitive. It's all in his mind. And this new free throw routine can ha help him, I believe, stop thinking about the fact that it's a free throw. Because a man, the man was, was sitting there for more than 10 seconds on a lot of the occasions to miss a free throw. So we'll see what his free throw percentage looks like this year. We'll see what his three-point percentage is like this year. But the reason why I love Giannis, and, and this has been on record for a very long time. This is not me joining the bandwagon. I've been a fan of Giannis since his very first season. Um, maybe not. I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a super fan, though. I know there are super fans out there, but I, I didn't see that Giannis was going to be one of the best players ever his rookie season, but I definitely saw the fact that I liked him. Y'all know I'm a dude that likes projects. Sekou Dembuyo is my, one of my favorite players in his draft class. That boy just got flipped around like, you know what I'm saying? I like project players. So when Giannis came into the league and I didn't know much about him, but other than he was a scrawny, um, a uh, small forward that I put at point guard in 2k I liked him a lot and the, the reason why he has continued to get better and better and better and better and better is that he's never satisfied and and that's that's something and I'm not taking it from Giannis but that's something that I can relate to on one way or another whether it be in my own personal life and the work I can never be satisfied this man just came off an NBA Finals, where he won MVP, submitted himself as one of the greatest players of all time. What is he ranked? It doesn't really matter. He's like 26, 27 years old. He's got a long time left. But the fact that he won a Finals MVP, he had already won two NBA, uh, um, NBA MVPs and the Defensive Player of the Year. He's a Hall of Famer right now already. He could retire tomorrow. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer. He could have been a dude that's like, ah, I've done what every NBA player strives to do. I won a championship, but I also won it as the guy. I dropped 50. In a closeout championship game, I could take a month off of practice. I could come into next season a little bit out of shape. Not with a guy like Giannis, man. 
I don't remember the exact timetable because I'm thinking about things that happen in like real time, but he did not take a ton of time out of the gym. I remember him on Instagram Live going to Chick-fil-A and getting a 50 piece. I remember him um, taking the Larry O'Brien over the Greek over to Greece. And then the next thing I saw of him was he was back in the gym. And and one of my favorite tweets, oh my God, this is crazy. I'm like, hey, I, I'm fanboying out about Giannis. Give, give it to me. I mean, you, you're going to see stuff like this very often. But there is a tweet that Giannis dropped, um, and I gotta find it real quick, cause I'm pretty sure I quote tweeted it, so I just gotta stroll through my tweets. And as I do this, I'm realizing how often I tweet, and um, my excuse is that it's a part of the job. Part of my job is tweeting, you know? Okay, so I didn't actually quote tweet it, but I did retweet it. Um, it is a picture that say, they asked me what I do or what I do it for, obviously quoting a song, and it's a picture of his son, I think his name is Liam, and, um, he got the pictures flipped. It should be him on this side, what I do and what I do it for. But I I, re, I related to this so hard, even though my future child is not here yet. This is like the mindset that I think everybody should live by. This man won an NBA championship and went right back to the gym because he's thinking about his his kids, bro. And then he had another kid this offseason. So congratulations to Giannis and his wife. I'm actually going to quote that tweet on my burner account. And, um do the same thing, you know? Shout out, to, shout out to Giannis. Now, what are the chances that Giannis goes in and wins another MVP? I don't think it's as low of a chance as a lot of people are saying. Um, if you look at the, the Vegas odds, Giannis is down at fourth, which is still pretty high, but the Milwaukee Bucks will continue to be a very, very good regular season team. And there has been a gap from the last time Giannis has won MVP. You're like, Kenny, what, why does that matter? Because voters fatigue is a very, very real thing. Um, LeBron should have way more MVPs than he actually does. But again, voters fatigue exists. People get tired of the same player dominating and dominating and dominator, dominating. And I think, so we have the two MVP years, then we got no award, but also an NBA championship, which boosts Giannis up even more because the last memory we saw of him is him taking over a game and dropping 50. And if he keeps that momentum up, I think it is a possibility that Giannis comes in and wins his third MVP award. And it's also... You're seeing growth with it. For example, um, like I said, LeBron deserved to win way more MVPs than he actually did. But LeBron wasn't necessarily getting better. He was just already the peak of the athlete. LeBron was doing the same thing, and that same thing was good enough to have him at the top of the league for a decade. Giannis won, two MV won an MVP award, then the next year he got significantly better. Right? <laughs> He won, another, he won a second MVP award, then he won an NBA championship. And now if this footage where we're watching and all of this is going to go, going to correlate and go to the, the NBA regular season, he's even better than he was with the two MVP awards. Insanity. And I think that could be good enough for him to win it again. Would I bet my money on it? Nah, I just, I, I don't know, I don't know. Voting on, um, <laughs> look at me, just, just like backtracking. Voting on like season long things is, I can't do it. I'm an impatient guy. I can't put a bet in Oct October 14th and wait until April or June or whatever they give the awards to the reap my reward. I can't do that. I don't know how y'all be doing that, bro. I couldn't do it. But out of the options of Luka Doncic, who obviously is going to be amazing this year. I've said this on the show before. I'm not a huge believer what the Dallas Mavericks did. I don't really like Jason Kidd as a coach. Um, and you have to be one of the top two to three seeds to win MVP award. I don't think Luke and them are going to do that. It's a possibility. But right now, if I'm making my prediction, they won't. Joel Embiid has a storyline behind him, dealing with the whole Ben Simmons stuff. If they don't have Ben Simmons and they still end up being one of the top seeds, I can see that. Um, Kevin Durant is dealing with the Kyrie Irving situation, and he was in a conversation for MVP before he injured himself last year. And then you got Giannis. You got Steph Curry. So... There is a little narrative part of every or majority of MB MVP awards, but I do believe Giannis got a very, very good chance to, to get that third MVP. And then now we're talking about him on another level of tier ranking when we talk about the greatest players of all time to end up with three MVP awards, an NBA championship, and at the minimum two defensive player of the years. I don't think he's done getting defense, or uh, one defensive player of the year. I don't think he's done getting defensive player of the year awards either. Uh, <laughs> that It's so insane. That when Giannis is done, again, we don't know what his career looks like. Hopefully, he plays a, a very healthy, at least another decade. We don't really know. Um, he has the potential to be, like, one of the greatest players of all time. I made this tweet a little while ago, um, and I can actually find this tweet because I know I actually sent it. It's a clip of Kevin Durant all the way back in 2017. Um, 
He was asked about Giannis. This is before Giannis won any MVP awards or any defensive player of the years. Uh, everything is going to look super blurry because it's it's Twitter. Um, you can't even tell this is Kevin Durant. It's like an unlocked character. Um, but this, when Kevin Durant recorded this, um, Giannis had just made his first all-star game appearance. And hopefully the audio sounds good. Let's see what we got. Greek freak, I think, is, is a force. And he's nothing. I've never seen anything like him. And his ceiling is probably... He can, he can end up being the best player to play if he really wanted to. So He can probably end up being the best player to ever play if he really wanted to. And there's one thing that is true about Giannis. He really wants to be the greatest. It's the reason why he's always in the gym, even though he just won a championship. So, um, man, I'm, I'm excited to watch Giannis this season. I'm excited about everything NBA related. Y'all know this. If you enjoyed it, leave it a like. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. There's no real schedule.